Hello everyone. Welcome to Python for Testers tutorial series. This tutorial series is completely dedicated to the testers or the manual testers who are willing to learn Python for Selenium automation. Now, I've already started Selenium with Python tutorial series and this tutorial series will be part of that particular series. Now we have already understood about the configuration of the Python, how to install it, how to install the Python um, PyCharm, which is the Python development ID, then how to install Selenium and also learn to run our first test case into Selenium. Now before we get into the deeper understanding of Selenium web driver with Python, Python understanding and the knowledge of Python is required before you can go ahead and learn Python, uh, uh, learn Selenium with Python effectively. So that is why I have came up with this particular Python for testers series and I'll continue this series and will cover each and every aspect or the required knowledge that you need to be a uh, automation tester using Selenium with Python. So in this tutorial, I'll give a brief of an introduction and then we'll directly go into the Python programming and understand and learn Python for testers. I won't cover a lot of deep concepts which are not required for Selenium automation. So I'll cover only the bits and pieces of Python programming language that are required for the testers. Now, Python is very vast programming language, but as a software tester, as an automation tester, or even as an automation architect, whatever you need in terms of Python programming language, I will be covering all that in this particular series. All right, so let's straight away jump into the introduction and let's see what exactly Python programming language is. So as you can see on my screen, Python programming language is high level object oriented programming language developed in late 1980s by Guido van Rossum. So Guido was the person who developed it and it's high level programming language and object oriented. So because Python is object oriented, it, fill, uh, it fulfills a lot of key capabilities that will be required for us to develop our automation frameworks using Python. Now, Python is very popular, it is free, and it is very widely used. So initially, Python was not that popular, but with the recent trends of the machine learning, data science, Python is very, very heavily used in data science nowadays. Apart from that, Python is used for uh, web development, it's a scripting language, so you can use Python absolutely for um, anything that you can think of. So web development, there are frameworks, Django and Flask that you can use. Uh, and for machine learning, there are massive, massive libraries that are available in Python that are being used for data science. And scripting part for automation, it has always been used um, since it has been um, created. Now, Python is not a compiled language, it's an interpreted language. What exactly it means that uh, you do not need any compiler. So if you have gone through my Java tutorial or Java for tester series, you, you will, in the introduction part, I have explained that Java is a compiled language. So what exactly it means that you write some certain code in English form or the syntax you follow of that particular language, it is then converted into the machine a readable format and then uh, so that that code is compiled and converted into a machine readable format and then it's read now when we talk about python it is not compiled it is basically whatever you write it's directly interpreted by the python interpreter so when we install python on a system then that is the interpreter interpreter that we are installing and when we write the code that code when we run it's directly interpreted by the interpreter, right? So when I will go into the PyCharm, I'll create a new project and I'll show you when we select the interpreter. So it doesn't, it's not a compiled, it's an interpreted language. It directly uh, gets interpreted with the Python interpreter and you get the outcome. So these are high level um, understanding or the introduction. 
uh, very important in terms of interview point of view so uh, you do not need to go into very deep concepts as such now the next very important point is python is simple and easy to learn what it means is that there is very uh, minimal learning curve when we will start learning python so in just next tutorial we'll start writing our first program in python and then we'll learn the core concepts that will be required for you to develop automation frameworks using selenium and python and also learn the advanced selenium frameworks with python so whatever key information is required in python programming that will be covered to cover the selenium python framework now when we say python is simple it is simple initially and in terms of automation that we'll be using so i'll be trying to simplify it as much as i can and if you are just doing it using it for the automation it will be not complicated at all now python because it is very vast if you are using it for data science or machine learning it is it becomes complex over the period of time so it depends it it's the context in which you are using it will become complex over the period of time so if, if you are uh, learning python for data science it will become complex over, over over the period of time or you have to learn the complex libraries and know how to use them but in terms of automation and selenium with python it will be really simple and we will try to simplify it and help you out with the core understanding of python programming for selenium with python tutorial series so that's all for the introduction part in the next tutorial we'll start writing our first program using python thank you very much for watching